Hi, my name is Philip Martin Nielsen. I'm a dancer with the Ballet Trocadero de Monte Carlo, and I'm also a master point shoe fitter here at Ballotomania Dancewear in Poughkeepsie, New York. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing all topics of point shoes. Now, I would like to start talking about Gaynor Minden. Gaynor Minden is one of the most innovative point shoes on the market today. They are made out of man-made materials that help enhance durability and sustainability in the life of your point shoe. To start fitting Gainer Mindens, we want to start using a Brannock device, which is a device that we use to measure our dancers' feet. Once we take this measurement, we usually add a half to a full size up, depending on different specifications that we see in the dancer, such as their box needs, their width needs, and possible heel heights. Now I would like to talk about the different models that Gainer Minden has to offer. Gainer Minden has three different models. I have two of them to show you today, as for they are the most popular. We're going to start by looking at the classic fit. This is the classic. It is a little bit more of an oval shape all around and does help to accommodate the fuller foot. This is the sculpted fit. It is different than the classic as for it does have a pinch at the waist and it does narrow towards the heel. But this area stays the same as we know from the fit in the classic. Now let's start talking about box shapes in Gainer Minden. So there's very different differences between the width and the box in Gainer Minden. When we're talking about the box, we're talking about from the bottom of the metatarsal down to the tip of the toe. So here I have four examples of their five different box shapes to show you. So we have the three box, the three plus, which is their newest box, the four box, and the five box. They also have a two box, but that is normally for custom order and not necessarily a stock item size. When it comes to width, that is a very different uh, part of the shoe that we're talking about. So if we're going to start talking about width, this is from the top of the metatarsal up towards the rest of the foot, more towards the, so the side quarter panels. So this area is very important to make sure that you don't ignore because you want to make sure that this part is nice and close to the dancer's foot so they can have the best fit when they go up into the demi point and when they're on flat. Um, so, and those come in a narrow, medium, and wide. So this is your narrow. This is your medium. And then this is your wide in the width. Now let's talk about shanks. Gainer Minden has five different shanks to offer. We're gonna start from the softest to the hardest, talking about the shanks. So the softest shank that Gainer has to offer is Pena Samo, which is in a purple bag. The blue bag, the next level up, is the feather. Next level up, supple in the pink bag, then extra flex in the yellow, and then we have hard in the green bag. Now let's discuss the Gainer Minden accessories. This is one of my favorite parts about Gainer Minden, as for I use their accessories all the time in my fittings, regardless if I'm fitting Gainer Minden shoes or other point shoe brands. So first I'm gonna discuss one of my favorite ones, it's, which is the box liners and the instant wings. I like using these when I have a dancer that comes in and I don't have maybe quite the right width or quite the right box shape that I have in, in stock at the store and they feel like they're swimming a little bit in the shoe and they need a little bit more of a, a tightness to it, but I know if I go in the one with less that I have in store, it's gonna be way too tight on that dancer. So that's where these lovely devices come in. They're made out of a very thin type of foam and they help, they retract and then they come back to place. So the way that you put these in is that you would have the, the tan side in first and then you would put it in there and the instant wing just nicely fits inside of the shoe. This is very good. The instant wing is better if you need more support at the top of your metatarsal, but if you need it just in the areas of your toes are, but your metatarsal is filling out the shoe correctly, then I would suggest going more with the box liner. Another accessory that I love using is the heel grippers from Gainer Minden. 
if I find that I have a dancer with a little bit too much pitch at the end of their of their shoes, I will put a heel gripper in there every once in a while. But I'll also use this for other types of shoes like character shoes, tap shoes, and on the rare occasion, maybe a jazz shoe. The second toes kit is from also from Gainer Minden. It's a really, really great tool if you have that longer second toe. Um, they come with these two ovals that you can either have inside the shoe to help give you a little bit more of a cushion on all your toes, or you can cut this in half, stack it on the top of each other, and have it just under the big toe so it can help be the same length as your middle toe. But one of my favorite options for the second bigger toe is this. So it looks a little bit like a smiley face. And this goes inside of the toe platform of the shoe. Of the shoe. And if you can see, you might not be able to, but it does give a little bit of a nice space at the back of the bottom of the shoe so that middle for so that bigger toe has somewhere to rest when they're on point and they don't feel it jamming inside the shoe. Another accessory that I love which is only for fitting purposes and it's not something that we send home with our customers is this amazing elastic band. This is also made out of the same fabric and elastic that they use for the vamp elastics that I don't have in stock today. But they, we use this to put on the dancer's foot at the end, towards the end of the fitting. And I have the dancer do a few achapés and bores from fifth. And this helps keep the shoe on for them so they could try to do their work as they would in class without the shoe falling off. The last thing I would like to discuss is Gaynor Minden's newest um, accessory. And it is their point pocket. It, so it basically is their toe pad that they just never had before that they have now. And what's amazing about it is that it's meant to fit inside of a point shoe. Um, as you can see the shape of how it's cut, it is cut very similarly to a point shoe as opposed to most toe pads that we're familiar with that are much more round and cut. I also like how thin the material is because in my personal opinion, I love to have the dancer with as little amount of padding as possible. At Ballet Trocadero de Monte Carlo, one of the shoes that we use the most often is Gainer Minden. Um, we do have a very good relationship with Gainer Minden as we have had for many, many years now. Gainer Minden is known for being one of the longer lasting point shoes in the market, which is also one of the reasons why Trocadero really wanted to start using Gainer Minden. Obviously, not every single dancer is not gonna be able to be fit with Gainer Mindens as for everybody has different possibilities that can happen with their feet of what they need. So, but majority of the trocs do wear Gainer Mindens for their durability and for their looks and aesthetic. I would like to also offer you guys a wonderful coupon from our dance wear store here at Balatomania in Poughkeepsie, New York of 20% off all point shoes and point shoe accessories. So just go to www.balatomania.com and at checkout, use the coupon code TROX20 to receive 20% off all point shoes and point shoe accessories.